Hi, my name is Rachita Sundria and I'm presenting a video abstract for the article titled Pharmacokinetics and Brain Uptake in the Rehitis Monkey of a Fusion Protein of Aryl Sulfatase A and a Monoclonal Antibody Against the Human Insulin Receptor. So to begin with, a brief introduction. Metachromatic leukodystrophy or MLD is a devastating lysosomal storage disorder caused due to the deficiency or loss of aryl sulfatase A enzyme. Aryl sulfatase A is responsible for the degradation of sphingolipid sulfatides and pathological accumulation of these sulfatides leads to demyelination causing severe CNS disturbances depending on the type of MLD. In the most common form of MLD that is infantile MLD, children suffer from severe CNS abnormalities like dementia, blindness, convulsions and eventually die before the age of 5. Replacement of the missing aryl sulfatase A enzyme thus represents a very promising approach for the treatment of MLD. However, enzyme replacement therapy has not been successful for the CNS since aryl sulfatase A does not cross the blood-brain barrier. Intrathecal injection of aryl sulfatase A has been used to bypass the blood-brain barrier. However, this route leads to distribution only to the ependymal surface of the brain. Penetration of the drug from the CSF to the brain is further limited by diffusion which is slow due to rapid bulk flow from CSF to the blood. Aryl sulfatase A can however be delivered via the transvascular route by re-engineering the enzyme for blood-brain barrier penetration using the molecular Trojan horse technology. In the present study, a fusion protein of aryl sulfatase A and a monoclonal antibody against the human insulin receptor is engineered. The fusion protein is designated as HIRMABASA and is shown in the right panel. The HIRMAB domain of the fusion protein binds to endogenous insulin receptors and crosses the blood-brain barrier via receptor-mediated transport, thus acting as a molecular Trojan horse to ferry the ASA or the aryl sulfatase A into the brain from the blood. The present study shows that the fusion protein retains high affinity binding to the human insulin receptor with an EC50 of 0.3 nanomolar and also retains high aryl sulfatase A enzyme activity of 20 units per milligram. In order to further characterize the plasma pharmacokinetics and the brain uptake of the fusion protein in vivo, the fusion protein was radioiodinated and injected intravenously in rehisis monkey. In the present study, the fusion protein was radioiodinated using the Bolton Hunter reagent. As opposed to the classic oxidative radio labeling methods like chloramine T and iodogen that are commonly used, the Bolton Hunter radio labeling is non oxidative, thus less, less damaging to the protein. Oxidative methods iodinate tyrosine residues and peripheral degradation of the protein radio labeled with oxidative methods release iodotyrosine that is transported across the blood-brain barrier via amino acid transporters. This leads to high radioactivity in the brain that in fact represents radio-labeled metabolite and not the intact protein. Bolton-Hunter reagent on the other hand iodinates epsilon amino group of surface lysine residues. Blood-borne Bolton-Hunter conjugated lysine residues are not transported across the blood-brain barrier. After intravenous administration, iodinated fusion protein rapidly penetrates the rehesis monkey brain with a brain uptake of 1.1% injected dose per brain. And this uptake is comparable to the brain uptake of palipride, which is a lipid-soluble small molecule. Film autoradiography shows global distribution of the fusion protein with higher uptake in the gray matter as compared to the white matter. Penetration of the fusion protein in the brain parenchyma is confirmed in the present study by capillary depletion method and emulsion autoradiography of the monkey brain. Emulsion autoradiography shows silver grains in the brain microvessels and uniform distribution throughout the brain parenchyma. 
while the TCA precipitability of the fusion protein is only 42% in the plasma at 120 minutes, the TCA precipitability of the fusion protein in the brain is 95%, confirming that the silver grains as seen in the emulsion autoradiography represent intact fusion protein and not radio-labeled metabolite. Finally, when metachromatic leukodystrophy fibroblast cells were incubated with the fusion protein for 24 hours and cells prepared for dual-labeled confocal microscopy for lysosomal compartment and human arrival sulfatase A, we found sequestration of the fusion protein in the lysosomal compartment. Once in the lysosome, the arrival sulfatase A enzyme domain of the fusion protein is active. Hence, the present study concludes that the HIRMAB arrival sulfatase A fusion protein is a new biological entity for the treatment of the brain in humans with metachromatic leukodystrophy following non-invasive intravenous infusion. For further details about the studies, please refer to the online published article. Thank you and I hope you enjoy reading.